it's not the 1970s. Minister rules out a four-day week for civil servants. I'm going to read into this piece from the Times, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Lee here from the article from the Times with the headline that it is not the 1970s. Minister rules out a four-day week for civil servants. Emma, Re Emma Reynolds rejects a union's plans to reduce hours for the same pay, saying that she does not believe in the forecast savings. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. So initially, my first thought was, is that this is outrageous, this is ridiculous. Then there is a part of me that thought that perhaps maybe civil servants in particular should be working five days a week. And then there's the, the fact that the, the government could actually potentially save money by doing so as well. Yes, the, the government could actually save money by doing this, adopting the four-day uh, four week policy. Now, I've talked a bit about the four-day week policy. I know some. there are some people, especially older generations, there are some people who are vehemently against the idea of people working four days a week. Um, what is the meaning of life, guys? The meaning of life is obviously to live the most or enjoy life to the fullest. That's basically the premise of this. And by having three days off instead of two days off, it allows you to have more time, more flexibility to do the things that you want to do. Now, you can still work up to 30, 30, 39, 40 hours a week within four days, 10 hours a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for example. You work 10 hours a day, bang, there's 40 hours. There's your 40 hours that you've done for a week because that's mainly the average of what shift patterns that people normally work is is up to that. Well, some workers, I would say, let me take that back because some people work 30 hours, but whatnot. But you can still work for uh, from four to six to eight, so six, eight, ten, uh, 10 hours or even 12 hours, some people even work. 12 hours is, is a bit much for some people, but others can handle it. But you can get to work the contracted hours that you're mainly able to do within four hours. Most contracts, you pretty much all contracts, you should be able to do within, uh, you'll be able to do your shift plan. But it varies from, uh, like, understandably, of course, it varies from job to job. Now, that was my other, now, because we're talking about civil servants here in particular, and because of the verity, I wasn't so keen on them doing a four day week simply because of my concern is, is that is that uh, because of so much work that's on their plate rather than them uh, rather than them working less but apparently this is but the thing is is that you know reduce their hours I don't it, with all due respect to uh, to civil servants I really don't want them reducing their hours um, if they were working the same hours but work but only doing four days a week I, then it would be then I would say they should do that instead and that option should be there for them but if we're implying that they should be working four hours and also having less uh, working less less hours as a direct result of that so say for instance they're working they're normal let's just say hypothetically right now a civil servant working for working for a department is is working 39 hours a week yeah and instead of doing 39 hours in four days they're doing i don't know 35 for example or 30 let's just say something like that yeah they, they got they get their hours significantly cut or something so that's first of all that's left pay for the civil servant um as well and then it means that 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 gap there's less 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 um there's a gap there basically and the consensus and the, the argument back is that it still increases productivity. For me, the the premise is is that my my personal opinion is going from five days to four days, there should be no increase in reduction of hours. If they are working the same amount, they should still be getting the same pay. I don't agree that, that civil servants should be look uh, that should be getting reduced hours unless they want to go part time. But I also understand that the the forecast for savings as well. So I am kind of a bit mixed on this as somebody who actually would like more trials on four day weeks for for many uh, businesses out there, especially if it increases productivity. And statistics have shown that it does increase productivity in some places. Problem is, we're talking about civil servants here. And and I'm sure many of you will agree with me that 
there is so much work that civil servants will need to be doing in this parliament more than any other because of the mess of the last 14 years as well are civil servants perfect no do they have flaws absolutely um but they have got so much on their plates already is now the time to be having this conversation about them i suppose it's is is another thing we should be asking ourselves and my honest answer is i don't think we should be having this conversation with particular with civil servants <coughs> I think they should maintain the status quo right now. But at the same time, I also understand that the, the warrants for changing it as well. So let's read what the Times had to say. So civil servants will not be allowed to work a four day a week because we're not living in the 1970s, a senior minister has said. So Labour has been under pressure from some public sector unions to rethink the traditional five day a week in Whitehall and make claims that staff are more productive when they work fewer hours, if they work fewer hours. Emma Reynolds, a pensioner... Pensions Minister told Times Radio the government was categorically ruling out the move, saying that if civil servants wanted to work fewer hours, they could move to work part-time. Uh, they won't get one a four-day week because we're not living in the 1970s, she said. She rejected claims that the move would save the government millions of pounds a year, saying that she did not believe the figures and suggested that they were already there were already flexibility in the system. I see the benefits uh, for those who want to have a flexibility and to be able to work part-time. I'm a mum of two young children, and you know, sometimes I wish that I worked part-time. But I don't think as a whole that civil servants, as a general rule, should work four days rather than five. The PCS, the largest civil service union, uh, released research on Wednesday claiming civil servants' lives would be transformed if they could work four days and have such uh, and that such an arrangement was essential for a happy and healthy life. This is the thing, the key thing for me, is that all people should have an uh, essential happy and healthy life. And it's just, that is very, very important. In one department, Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, DEFRA, the union claimed dropping a day of work while remaining on the same pay could save the government £21.4 million a year. The savings would then come from reduced staff turnover and fewer sick days. Mm. The fewer sick days, sick pay does, does play a role into it. The union has also suggested it would be a way to compensate staff who earn less than they would in the private sector. It is campaigning for a significantly reduced work week with no loss in pay as a national priority, signalling that PCS branches and other departments may push for the change. PCS members are the Ministry of Housing, Community and Local Government are also campaigning for a four-day working week. Those at the Office of National Statistics have voted for strike action over compulsory office attendance. Civilian staff at Metropolitan Police started a strike ballot on Tuesday over returning to the office and Transport of London is drawing up plans to allow two drivers to work on an average four-day week from next year. Fran Healthcourt, the union's general secretary, said any uh, opposition to employees working four days a week is purely ideological. So Keir Starmer has dismissed, it as, dismissed, has dismissed his fancy suggestions that the government has sanctioned four-day weeks for councils. That Prime Minister's question is coming back and up the Conservative leader raised Angela Wayne's decision to let councils in England adopt a four-day working week. For more than a year, South Cambridgeshire District Council had defied Conservative opposition to its policy to introduce a four-day week. However, the Minister for Housing, Communities and Local Government has decided not to reissue a best value notice sent by the previous government, which has warned that councils that it could have been uh, failing to deliver value for taxpayer. The Ministry said that, that, it, that there was not a general move to support four-day week, but councils were rightly responsible for the management and organisation of their own workforce. I, I will say this, there isn't, uh, there is more, I think, polls will obviously give it, may give some indication of what some people are thinking on the ground. But the problem is, is that I generally think that older generations will be looking at this and they will be thinking, well, I, back in my day, I, I had to work five, six days sometimes, you know, sometimes I had to work 14 days and there's these people wanting four days, you know, there will be that generational uh, clashing. So th there will be... I do think there will be some people really vehemently against this in the general public consensus. I was my so I was not so, but my position should always be the case of like, I if I could work if I can work forty hours in four days instead of forty hours in five days, I would do that because then I would just get one full free day to do whatever I want. That that's kind of my premise. Bagnott said. Does he think it's appropriate for a Ministry of Housing has done uh, to approve a four-day week for councils that is not flexible working, but is actually part-time work with for full pay? So I'll reply, questions based on what we're actually doing are usually better than fantasy questions made up. 
The Cambridgeshire example was cited by PCS as a reason its request should be granted. In a foreword to the union speech, Joe Ryle, the director of the four-day week campaign and former Labour press officer, said trials around the world show workers were happier, healthier and more efficient and more likely to stay in their roles when working four days a week. He added, whether it's Denver Police Department or South Cambridgeshire District uh, Council, it's increasingly clear that we're, we're that where public funds uh, struggle to match private pay offers, a reducing working uh, working week can provide different kinds of boosts for workers, and one that doesn't satisfy productivity. Hmm. I'm not against, like I said, I'm not against four days a week, but there may be, but there is this argument that in certain sections of jobs and whatnot, it might not be feasible. But I can see some people in the comments telling me that Regan, you can't have it both ways, and I, I I can get I can get those consensus of arguments as well. I do believe that four day weeks should be something that should be trialed and pushed on to for people to trial out. And yes, there are there is data that shows out there that it has that it has made people more product uh, show uh, more productivity. I will say. Um, some others it's not always that case but we will have to wait and see over time whether or not it, it does you know if there's going to be more 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 of that pushed here in the uk the campaign for it's not going to go away but i do hope that people do have that extra day off if they can work the same hours my premise is that i i you know i can understand the the you know the reduced hours thing but especially right now there's a lot of people who are really struggling so some people will not want to take a reduction in hours. But I think if you were to ask people if they could work four days a week instead of five days a week on the same hours, they probably would take it. If it meant them getting up earlier, if it meant them going home later on those four days and then having one whole day off instead of having like a bit in the morning or a bit in the afternoon or vice versa, whatever it is, people would rather do that. But that's just my thoughts. What do you guys honestly think? What do you think about civil servants working four days a week? What do you think about people working four days a week in general? Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Do you think it should be the norm that we should always be working five days a week? Or maybe some of you are Looney Tunes and some of you guys actually think that we should be working six days a week because there was one or two conversations from certain politicians saying that we should be working six days a week and literally have no lies whatsoever. Let me know your thoughts and more down in the comments section below. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share this across social media so others are not fired this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing because it really does help support the channel. If you want to go one step further and further support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content on those platforms. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.